you said good morning. It is definitely not morning, but it might be where you are. Um, my name is Meg, I'm from Redhead Wellness Century, um, and I wanted to share a little flow with you guys today. Um, it, it's really fun to be creative, it's really fun to explore like this imaginative side and playful side that we all have within us, and sometimes in the world we're in today, we can get so lost in doing all the time. We, we just forget to be a human being. We forget to come back to a, a space of, you know, this like childlike mentality that we're born with, this imagination, playfulness, uh, and creative, um, which is, is such a part of us. And, you know, it's a big part of our sacral chakra. Uh, and it's so important to express this, you know, uh, the way we feel about ourselves to come into this state of ownership and... Um, self-worth and, and love and, and back ourselves, you know, uh, and this is what I want this flow to be about. Um, I'm hoping I can remember what I did, but I, I really enjoyed this one. I went through this the other day and hopefully I can share it with you. Um, you will need a block if you, um, which I'll go and grab in a moment, um, so you can use a book or anything like that as well. A block will help you. You don't have to have it as well. Um, other than that, I invite you just to lay out your mat. Uh, the practice might be about 30 or 40 minutes um, and just simply enjoy. So just take a moment to grab your block if you do have one or something nearby, anything that you can use is fine. Okay, so I'm going to grab my block here. Um, just when you have your block, just allow uh, ourselves to take a seat on top of the block. You might want to use your bolster and just find your way into a comfortable seated position. Just allowing your hands to either place down for grounding or turn up to receive. And close down your eyes. I invite you to just take a really beautiful deep breath in. And out. Breathing in a softness, a suppleness. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing in what you would like to feel, what you want to create. And breathing out, let go of the things that you don't want to carry anymore. Breathe in the words, I feel, and attach whatever you want to feel after it. Breathe out, I choose to let go of. Again, breathe in, I feel. Breathe out, I choose to let go of. Now as you breathe here, for the next 10 breaths, can you attach and visualize this feeling or emotion and feel it in your bones? And then feel yourself release any tension or old limiting beliefs any stories that you do not need to continue anymore and use this power of your breath, physically, mentally, emotionally, to start to shift your state of being. You have eight more breaths here in this space, breathing in and breathing out. what happens in your physical body when you inhale and notice the feeling and sensations you exhale five more breaths invite a little suppleness into your practice today Invite a little playfulness and creativity and invite a space of no judgment or comparison. Just let yourself flow. Rest as much as you need to rest and choose to be kind. From this space, gently open your eyes and inhale the arms above the head. And as you exhale, find a gentle twist right arm to left knee. Breathing in and out. 
Using your own breath here, inhale and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more times, inhale, exhale and inhale and exhale. From here, we're actually going to come off our block and make our way straight into a downward facing dog. We're going to start a little different today. So spread your fingers really wide like frog hands. So really spread them open, tuck your toes and find your way into quite a relaxed downward facing dog. And allow yourself to paddle out your knees. Let your head be heavy and just create some movement here. And just do what feels good. From this first down dog, we're going to start to slowly tiptoe ourselves forward. I like to really space this out to take the time. It's like a little moonwalk to allow yourself to find some space and find a forward fold. You can simply let yourself hang here, bend your knees as much as you need. Maybe you catch your opposite elbow and maybe you sway. Let your head be heavy. And let your spine be long. Breathe in. And breathe out. From here, take an inhale, find a halfway lift. Maybe the hands on the shin and grow from the crown of the head and out through the tail, zipping the belly towards the backbone. Take another breath in and exhale, fold forward, bending at the knees and step back to a high plank. From this high plank, take a full inhale, protract the shoulders, and as you exhale, find a child's pose. So knees wide, toes touch. Breathing in, slowly tuck the chin to the chest, round the spine, tuck the toes. Come up to find a downward facing dog. I'm gonna go through that one more time and I'll give you an option and a variation. So inhale, ripple through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Exhalation, child's pose. Knees wide, toes touch. Inhale, press through the hands, tuck the chin round the spine, zip in the belly, and exhalation, down dog. Please stay with that if you need that for your spine. If not, we'll change it up a little. So inhale, ripple through. As you exhale, stay on your tiptoes and allow your pelvis to drop through straight arms, come into floating dog. Shoulders roll back. Inhale, press back through the knees, engage the core. And exhale, lifting up, downward facing dog. Continuing to flow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale, take your time and feel. Inhale, exhale, again breathe in, breathe out, open the chest, breathe in, bend at the knees, breathe out, dog pose, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, dog pose. Take a breath in, come onto your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees. We're going to make our way into a squat. I'm just going to step into this first one. Feet go wide. Come to find your molasses. You can sit on the block here if you need to too. And then from here, we're going to place the right hand down and inhale the left hand tall. Exhale, back to the center. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now please stay with this if this feels nice in your body or even just stay into a squat. But we're going to play a little bit with our options here. So on our next one, the left hand can go behind and we're going to inhale, come to the toes and open the heart space. Exhale, come back down. Breathing in, lift up and breathing out. Just finding your own flow here, breathing in 
and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Remember, it doesn't have to look like anything. You find space in your body through breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Just one more time. Inhale and exhale. From here, lean forward, engage your core. Plant the hands, step back to a high plank, protract your shoulders. Option to drop down to the knees, but press the space between your shoulder blades up to the sky. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, bend at the elbows, come all the way down to the ground and untuck the toes. Breathe in, baby cobra. Breathe out, down to the ground. Hands go back. Breathe in, locust pose. Breathe out. Plant the hands down, tuck the toes. Engage the belly, press straight up to high plank or to your knees and then exhalation, downward facing dog. From your dog pose, inhale, come right on your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, jump step or float between your hands. Breath in halfway, breath out, soften and fold. From here, inhale, come all the way to stand. And exhale, hands to heart. From here, I'm gonna get you to close down your eyes. Come to a place of balance by placing your feet on the ground. And I invite you to do this with your eyes closed. Can you notice the parts of your feet that touch the earth, the soles of the foot, and the two balls of the foot, creating what's called the tripod of the foot? From this place in grounding, can you actually sense and feel a place of equilibrium and balance? With your eyes still closed, notice as you start to shift the weight into the right foot, but keep your left toes on the ground. Notice what you can feel here with the eyes closed. And if you're tempted to open the eyes, I invite you to keep them closed for this next bit. Come into a sense of feeling now as you use the tripod of your right foot and start to lift up your left, keeping the eyes closed. Let yourself soften the areas of your body that do not need to be used, creating a sense of ease, effortlessness. Maybe you wobble and invite the wobbles. Let yourself problem solve here. So come into a sense of feeling have four more breaths. Let yourself be. We rely so much on our gaze that we forget sometimes to feel into our bodies, to feel where we need to be. Take one more breath in. Place the foot down, keep the eyes closed. Straight away, tip to the left foot, keep right toes on the ground, pause. Keep the eyes closed. <laughs> when you're ready, start to lift the right leg off the ground and have a play here. Allow yourself to, is that a word, untense the parts of your body that might be holding on here, your jaw, your throat, your shoulders, your wrists. Let yourself come into a state of flow, of ease. Five more breaths. Notice what you have to do here to be still. How can you connect? Hmm. Take a breath in. Slowly pop that foot down, and without any judgment, just let yourself feel into that. Gently open your eyes. Step to the top of your mat, take an inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, soften and fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, plant the hands, slowly step yourself back to your high plank. Breathe in, protract your shoulders. Breathe out, wrap the elbows by the side of the body, maybe hover halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend and open. We're gonna open our hips here by slowly starting to make little circles or big circles with that right hip. Take your time. It's really easy to rush through this. What can you explore? How fluid and smooth and, and supple can you make these circles? 
Press out of your hands so fingers are spread. And when you're ready, inhale, press the right heel away, squeeze the back leg. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, protract the shoulders, create the space. Come right of your back tippy toes, continue to flow through, leaving the right heel. Drop the left knee down, left hand on the floor, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Now, from here, we're going to open up our hips and our groin. I apologize, I'm going to face the back of the room. I hate doing that, but this is where we are. And so, take your breath in. As you exhale, we're going to push through the right heel. Slowly work through our inner thighs and come to find Skandasana, bending into the left knee, straightening the right leg here. You can stay up or you can go down a little lower, your choice. Take a breath in. As you exhale, scoot back around slowly, left hand goes down, right hand goes up, inhale. As you exhale, slowly tip back, finding half anima, half split, breathe in, breathe out. Bend back into that right knee, left hand comes down, maybe tuck the toe this time, inhale, open up the chest, stay for your exhale. Inhale, find a little bit more space. And as you exhale, push through the heels, engage the inner thighs. Exhale, finding your skandhasana. Breathe in, create the space. Exhale, take your time to shuffle back to the uh, right foot, left hand down, inhale. And as you exhale, start to straighten that front leg. Half onama, half split. Breathe in and breathe out. Leaning forward, bend into that front knee, frame the front foot with your hand. Inhale, sweep the right leg behind you. Exhale, bend and open, and maybe come onto those right fingertips. Maybe start to spin all the way around, come into blade edge of left foot. Maybe those right toes touch down, and inhale, open up your heart space. Stay in for your exhale. Engage your belly, inhale, look down at your left hand, bring the right knee all the way in towards your nose and step into your high crescent lunge, right foot forward. Breathe in, breathe out, open up the heart. Breathe in, sweep the arms up, gather the energy. And as you exhale, frame the front foot and then step back and move through your vinyasa. You can do a little handstand hop there if you like, if you're feeling playful. Exhale, move through. Breathe in, open the heart space. Breathe out, downward facing dog. All right, left leg, breathe in. Exhale, bend and open. Start to move around that left hip, really nice and chilled. So super slow, looking for any areas that are tight here. Maybe close your eyes, tune in and listen. Our bodies are our biggest teachers. They are always talking to us. Breathe in, straighten the left leg behind you. Exhale, knee to nose, protract your shoulders. Continue to come forward, lead with the heel. Leave the right hand down, drop the back knee, inhale, open up. Stay for your exhale. Engage your belly, slowly use your inner thighs and strengthen your legs to inhale into Skandasana and exhale, soften. Breathe in, push through the heel. Exhale, shuffle back around. Right hand down, left hand up, inhale. As you exhale, slowly tip back half corner. Breathe in, breathe out. From here, bend back into that left knee, right hand down, maybe come onto right toes, inhale. As you exhale, skandasana. Inhale, exhale, come back around, right hand down, left hand up, breathe in. And exhale, half one and half split. Inhale, exhale. Okay, bend into that front leg. From here, tuck the back toes, press into the hand, tuck the chin. 
Inhale, left foot behind you. Exhale, bend and open and either choose to stay here or come onto your left fingertips. Pause here. Maybe splint onto the blade edge of the right foot. Maybe that left foot comes all the way down. Press through, lift up your hips. Inhale, open your heart. And exhale, engage through your belly. Look down. Press through that right foot. Left knee in towards your nose. Step the foot all the way through, however it gets there. High, present, lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out, open the chest. Breathe in, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, frame the front foot. Again, you can do a handstand hop if you like here, or just step that left foot back, maybe leaning up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Take a breath in, come on your tippy toes. And the breath out, bend your knee, look forward, jump, step or float between the hands. Breath in halfway, breath out, soften. Alright, wiggle your feet, keep distance apart, rest if you need, remember please pause the video, take time to chill. If you need to take the rest, be quiet. Bend into the knees, feet keep distance apart, breathe in, chair pose. So allow yourself to sink down here and try not to get too caught up in chair pose. Can we see it as a pose where we're like, yes, I feel alive, I'm grateful to be alive. So turn the corners of your mouth up here, zip the belly in towards the backbone, sink into those heels, loosen your toes, reach up to the sky, breathe in, I feel, breathe out and let go. Now from here, really press through that right foot, inhale to find stalk pose. So finding a way into stalk pose here, and just breathe. Zip the belly in towards the spine. And then from your stalk pose, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, slowly allow yourself to find your airplane pose, which is active. Bend into that right knee a little bit if you need to and plug that back heel away. And then when you inhale, can you actually open your heart space and draw those shoulder blades together? Try to loosen your right toes and maybe try and spread them. Take a full breath in and as you exhale, can we bend into that right knee and maybe find our standing split. So bring in the chin towards the leg here. And again, soften your right knee, soften your shoulders, maybe use a block. Take a breath in and a breath out. Press through the feet. We're going to inhale, draw the left knee all the way up and into the chest and exhale, push the heel away. It doesn't, again, it can be low, it doesn't have to be high. Pull the toes back here and inhale, bring the hands above the head. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly make our way into our half moon. So I really like to use a block here to start by placing right hand onto block, left hand into hip. Keeping the body uh, just square here to start. And once you feel your balance, once you get this feeling and sensation of stillness, maybe you start to inhale, lift up the left arm. Or maybe you start to move the block. Some of you might want to bring the hand in towards the heart. And some of you might want to reach back and have a go at wobbling around a bit. If that's there for you, like what I'm doing right now. And maybe catching that foot, coming into Chopasana. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, we're all going to bend into the right knee. Feel the balance. Slowly step back, and we're going to find our view of adjustment too, so warrior two. So bending into that right knee, plugging down the blade edge of your left foot. From our warrior, we're going to take a breath in. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Now take a moment to look at your right knee, just for this first one. And can you actually see your right big toe? We have such a tendency in the world we live in for our hips to roll inward. Because of the shoes we wear, and because of the way we sit so often. So that's creating like this internal rotation of the hips, which is gonna draw the knees inwards. We wanna plug the knee open, 
create some hip torque and work through this glute medius. Take one more breath in, stay with your exhale. Now from here, <clears throat> what we're going to do, I'm just going to turn so that I'm facing you guys. With our right hand forward here, we're going to bring the left hand into our hip here. We're going to create some strength and movement. When we flow, this would be really nice. So breathe in. As you exhale, bend into those knees. Inhale, turn the palms up here and look up. As you exhale, bend into the knees, come through a wide squat. And then exhale, pull that hand back. We'll do that again. So breathing in. Exhale, bend into the knees, open the palms. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, bend through the knees. Inhale, warrior two. One more time. Exhale, moving through, nice wide squat. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, going down nice and wide. And as you inhale, flip your front palm reverse. And as you exhale, cartwheel down to the mat. Frame the front foot. You're welcome to do a handstand hop if you like here. And then find your way through high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. From dog pose, take an inhale, come around in your tippy toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Dump step or float between your hands. Breath in halfway. And exhale, fold forward. Take a breath in. And a breath out. From here, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. So from your chair pose, inhale, bring the right knee up, stalk pose. Stay for your exhale. Breathing in, again, lift the knee a little higher. Breathe out, bend into the left knee. And start to slowly make your way to Dekasana airplane. Again, those palms face down. We're really looking to pop the chest open here. Draw the shoulder blades back. Continue to push. You guys stay where you are. I'm just changing back so I've not um, got my back to you. Continue to push through that back heel. Strong here. Lift your chin, shine your heart. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, bend into the left knee as much as you need. Maybe use a block. Come to find your standing splits. So soften down here. Breathe in, breathe out. From here, we're going to inhale, draw the right knee all the way up and through, extend the right foot, flex the toes, inhale the hands above the head, exhale, stay. Take a breath in, and as we exhale, finding half moon, I like to start with right hand into the hip, left hand coming down to find a block. Really flex those right toes open and feel your right leg become really strong here. Try not to hook on with those left toes. If this is feeling nice for you and you have your balance, maybe you inhale the right arm to the sky. Maybe you take the hand off the block and play here. Maybe you bring the hand to the heart space. And maybe you play with catching that top foot, coming into top asana. No, yes? how you feel here, and just have a little laugh at yourself if you ever fall out. Take a breath in. As you exhale, slowly bend into the left knee and make your way into your warrior. Really moving through those transitions, like slowly, and just experience it. As you arrive in your warrior, again, just take a moment, check in that left knee is tracking over, so you should be able to see your big toe. And really press down through the feet here. They are so powerful. Spin the blade edge of your back foot down to the mat through inner thighs engage. Take a breath in and out. Bring your right hand this time to your hip. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale. As you exhale, sweep down and inhale, open your palms. Exhale, sweep back through. Really flowing these now. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sweep down, engage your legs. Inhale, and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Now exhale, sweep down. Inhale, 
flip and reverse. And exhale, cartwheel. Again, take your time. Maybe you'd like to have a little play here. Maybe it goes all over the shelf. And that's fine too. Move through your vinyasa. Inhale and exhale. Always be grateful for, um, you know, the wobbles and the stacks and the unsteadiness because you're moving yourself out of your comfort zone. So give yourself permission to fail, to fall. Give yourself permission to play. Take a breath in and a breath out. Bend your knees, jump step or float into a squat. We're going to spend 10 resting breaths here. And then we're just going to flow that sequence and then we'll come down to rest. <clears throat> when we flow the sequence, be as creative as you like in the sequence. Really, like, really uh, let yourself flow and breathe and move into the sequence however you would like to. Um, here is a guide, but you are your own teacher. So let yourself create this journey that we're moving through. So if you need more rest, please pause the video. If not, take a big breath in. There's an optional crow pose here, so you might want to spread your hands wide. Straight away, come up into crow pose. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, find your way through your vinyasa. Breathe in, up dog. Breathe out, down dog. Breathe in onto your tippy toes. Breathe out, look forward, jump step, float between your hands. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fall. Let's go. Inhale, chair pose. Stay here, exhale. Push through your left foot. Inhale, stalk pose. Exhale, airplane. Let your arms just flow in here. Breathe in, open the heart. Breathe out, standing splits. And again, opportunity maybe. You'd like to have a play. From your standing splits, breathe in, start to bring the leg all the way through. Exhale, push with the heel. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, right hand down. Left hand comes into wherever you like, find your variation, half moon. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend into that right knee, slowly make your way back, warrior two. Now inhale, open. Exhale, find your warrior. Inhale, the hand comes to the hip. Exhale, bend into the knees. Inhale, open the palms. Exhale, move through Skandasana. Inhale, warrior. Two more times. Exhale, really creative here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale, inhale, flip and reverse, exhale, cartwheel, find your way through your flow. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, come onto your tiptoes, exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Breathe in, breathe out, chair pose, breathe in last time. Stay with your exhale, press through the left foot, inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, flow to your Dekatana. Breathe in, open the heart, breathe out, standing splits, or have a little jump, have a play. When you're ready, inhale the right knee into the chest. Exhale, extend, flex the foot. Breathe in, open the arms. Breathe out, find your way into your half moon. Take your time. So feel it through the body. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend the left knee. And slowly step back to your warrior two, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring the hand to the hip. Exhale, sweep down. Maybe close the eyes. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. As you inhale, continue to flow. Flip and reverse. As you exhale, find your way. Take your time. Be creative here. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down facing dog. From down dog, drop to your knees. Let your hips stack over your knees. Allow yourself to melt yourself down and find a melting heart pose here. Let your chest really melt down and soften to the ground. Let the shoulders release. Maybe you even rest your head on a block. Can you just let go here? Breathe in, I feel. Breathe out, I choose to let go. That's all. Three more breaths. Take one more breath in and out. Engage your core, press yourself back gently to a child's pose. Let yourself surrender here, breathe in. Breathe out. Two more breaths, breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, and exhale. Engage through the belly and slide out towards forwards. And we're just going to move through some sphinx to dolphin. So we're going to just be fluid with this, create a little space in the spine. Give your hips a wriggle here, notice how that feels. From here, take an inhale, open up through the heart space. As you exhale, press into the forearms, engage the belly, tuck the toes, come up to find dolphin plank. Take a breath in. As you exhale, maybe start to walk those toes in, coming to find dolphin down dog. Take a breath in. You exhale, tiptoe those feet back, keep the belly lifted in towards the spine. Slowly drop the hips down, untuck the toes, inhale. Do that two more times. Exhale, engage the core, tuck the chin, tuck the toes, dolphin plank, continue to walk those feet in and just come to your stacking point. Maybe you lift one leg here, take a breath in. As you exhale, start to tiptoe those feet back. Slowly make your way down. Untuck the toes. Breathe in. This should be getting the heat up a little bit here. <laughs> Exhale, tuck the chin, engage the belly. Don't worry about how to me too. Continue to walk in. Maybe you lift the other leg this time. Take a breath in. Slowly exhale, tiptoe, we're nearly there. Make your way back here. Untuck the toes, inhale. You exhale, come all the way down to the ground. In the right knee out to the side, turn your left cheek to the ground and pause. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more times. Now I really love this transition. I hope I don't get you tangled up. I'll probably get me tangled up. Inhale, prop up a little. As you exhale, slide your left arm underneath your right. And we're going to press into the right hand. We're going to flip ourselves over. Let your right shoulder lay down on the ground. And let your right knee just hang or you can support it. And we're finding a spinal twist. Breathe in. 
Breathe out, surrender. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Coming back the same way, let that right arm swing over, right knee to the floor. Allow yourself to roll back down onto the ground. From here, it's going to keep those heels up and maybe tick tock them side to side. Optional back bends here. You're more than welcome to start to prop up, reach behind, catch the ankles, and maybe come into bow pose. If not, just stay with your legs tick tocking. If you're coming to bow pose, kick your feet into your hands, use your breath. Inhale and exhale. And then work through this pose that works through your body. Two more breaths. One more, breathe in. Slowly exhale, relax. Turn your right cheek to the mat, slide your left knee out to the side forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Prop up into the hands. Slide your right arm underneath your left. Slowly allow yourself to roll over. Let that left yeah, knee dangle or support it with your right hand. Left shoulder on the ground, right shoulder on the ground. Spinal twist. Soft. One more breath in and exhale. Continue to roll onto your back. So if you like me, you might have rolled off your mat. You can shimmy your way back on there, lift one knee, lift the other. Find a happy baby pose. Maybe you rock side to side. Maybe you stay still. And you notice how good this feels here. Shavasana, I'm going to offer a heart opener. You don't have to, but I'm going to place the block. You can place it on the lower height. I'm going to put mine on the medium height and allow it to prop up right between my shoulder blades. Exactly where my sternum is, opposite to that. I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together. You can extend them. And I'm going to let my head fall back. Now you can support it with another block or a cushion or whatever you like. Again, it's just an option that hands either out to the side or over the top of the hand. Welcome to your Shavasana. more than welcome to stay here a little longer if you need. Wherever you are, start to breathe a little deeper. Use your exhale to soften. Your arms are over your head, don't let just bring them by the side. Maybe catch your head and slowly bring it back if you were where I was. If you're lying on the ground, just stay. Those of you who are in a supported fish or supported butterfly, Make your way off your block and lie back down. 
As you breathe in, notice what this next breath brings with it. As you breathe out, what can you let go of? On your next breath in, breathe in an energy that you wish to feel and carry with you. As you breathe out, let go of any limiting beliefs. And on your next breath in, visualize it as a bubble around you. An energy that you now carry and you share with those that you run into. Something that you give the moment you see them. That they can only feel. And use your exhale to just release. Use your next breath in to start to wriggle your toes and fingers and have immense gratitude and appreciation for these, these bones and joints and muscles that do so much for us. And on your next breath in, feel it from the inside out as you start to smile and reach your arms above the head and point your toes and squeeze your quads and turn the corners of your mouth up. Bend your right knee, push yourself to your left. Coming to an immense state of gratitude and appreciation. Be grateful for the things that we do have rather than the things that we don't. Keep your eyes closed. Gently come all the way up to seated. Keep your eyes closed. Just take a moment and get a pause. You know, Urumi tells us what we practice grows stronger. And we're in a world at the moment where there can be a lot of negative energy going around, a lot of stuff that we can buy into and be uh, hooked into fear. And it, it comes down to how we see it. So let's look around us and see the things in us and around us where we can create joy and peace and gratitude for all that we have. I'm grateful for another day, grateful for this next breath, grateful to be able to move and breathe and practice and play. And that energy creates a higher vibration than that of fear because we come from somewhere of love. So again, what we practice grows stronger. What are we choosing to hook into? Where are we choosing to put our energy? So with that, remembering this bubble of energy that you carry, that you share to the next person today, can you breathe in a sense of love and compassion? And breathe out, like go <clears throat> everything you don't need to carry. Bring your open palms into your heart. Breathe in a space of knowing that this space of unconditional love is within each and every single one of us. We are no different. We all share this same breath. We are all one. Bring the thumbs to the mouth as you honour the words you speak. For they become the house we live in. And as you bring the thumbs to your third eye, honour the place of your choices. For it is here where we create our reality. With love and light, thank you for your practice. Namaste. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the practice. Uh, I most certainly did. I really needed to practice today. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see more of. Maybe it's yoga, maybe it's movement, maybe it's stuff with bands. I'd love to hear what you would like to think. Um, I have coaching starting next year at Redhead Wellness Century in March and it's based on my book Watch Your Language which is also coming out next year. There will be online coaching too so hit me up if you're interested in the comments. It starts in March 2020 and my book Watch Your Language will be released also in 2020. So please like, subscribe, click the little box that you've got to click on. Let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you for practicing and taking time out for you. Namaste.